My motivation was to buy a big house so I could put up Christmas lights and, and, and drive in the driveway. And I am to tell you something. Every home I had, every house I've ever owned or built, you got to pull in one way and drive all the way around to come out there. <laughs> I have never built, lived, or owned a home that did not have that driveway with gates on both sides. Never. That was the biggest motivating. So my advice is you have to find a dream that's so big that it overwhelms all of your fears and causes you to never give up. Now you're gonna think about quitting no matter what you do. I mean, I've thought about it many times, but I always just kept thinking about that house. And I've always dreamed of buying my mother and father a real house. And you know, and before they died, I was able to do all of that. To find your way in life is not an external search, it's an internal search. Because God equipped you the moment he gave birth to you. God equipped you at birth with what you needed. He gave all of you a gift, all of you. That's the thing you should pursue. And if you're unhappy with your life, if you haven't figured your life out, if you're thinking there's more to your life than it is, it's because the only reason you have that question is because you're not living in your gift. Once you discover your gift, there lies your greatest chance for success. If you're a smart student, smart is a gift. If people come to your house and they in your kitchen to get their hair done instead of going to a salon, you do hair, that's your gift. If, if they can't have a bake sale without your pies and cakes, you bake pies and cakes better than everybody, then that's your gift. You bake pies and cakes, that's your gift. You don't have to think about it. That's what you do. Quit trying to do what somebody else is doing because that ain't your life. You don't even want to come the way I would. You, if you knew the path I took to get here, you would not take it. If I'd have knew the path I was going to have to take to get here, I would have changed my destiny a long time ago because there's no way I would have wanted to have gone through what I went through to get to where I am today. If you knew what you had to go through to get to where he had for you to go, you would all quit. I would quit too. It's no way I would have had a stuttering problem. It's no way I would have lived in a car for three years. It's no way if I'd have knew that I, when I quit my job to do comedy, what was gonna happen to me, I would have never quit my job. But he don't show you that. He just lets you have the dream. And if you're bold enough to chase the dream, he'll get you through the journey. You just can't quit in the middle of the journey because he know you're chasing dreams. God didn't make your dream come true business. That's real talk.